OK so we open the first user track template. We are using the 30 minute. We can set the tempo to whatever we like, I will use 120. We can choose any style, even or swing. OK, so we don't need a two bar ending. We can also add any more chords we like to the template. Now we can generate the tracks. We will just turn off the ones we don't need, or add any other tracks. Now we set our record track. and hit record when ready. Okay. Now we have our recorded track. If you record your guitar DI you can add any effects to it after, but if you record the effects you can't do too much with it after. Now we can save it. We open the user tracks folder inside your real tracks folder. We choose file type SGU. We create a new folder with the instrument name. And it is even. 120. Now we save our template inside. You can rename it to the instrument name with the template type. Now we just choose our recorded audio track. You will get a successful message. So all we do is go to the next template and do the same. So on and so forth. Okay let's make some endings for our guitar. We just open the endings template. Again, we don't need the two-bar ending checked. You can add any extra chords you like. Now for the user tracks bar settings. Just click the bar button or F5. Then click the user tracks button. So these are the bar numbers, where a 4 bar ending starts, separated by commas, at 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, 33, and 37. We will turn off the tracks we don't need. So, we will play, one bar, then, a hold, on the next, for three bars. Set record track. And hit record when ready.
So now, we have some endings, we will save them, in the same instrument folder. Again, you can name them with the instrument name, followed by the template type. For audio track, we select, our recorded track. You will get a successful message. Next we will do some shots and holes. There are two shots and holds templates, we will do the first. Shots and holds consist of, a held chord over four bars, and a shot on the first beat of the bar, for four bars. So we don't need a two bar ending. Now we can generate the tracks. We will just turn off the ones we don't need. Set record track. And hit record when ready. Now, we have some shots and holes. We will save them, in the same instrument folder. Again, you can name them with the instrument name, followed by the template type. For audio track, we select, our recorded track. You will get a successful message. Now, shots and holds, template 2. Now, let's try our user track, in a song. Because we recorded our guitar with, direct input, DI. We can add any effects we like to get the right sound. We can use Guitar Rig. Or better still, we can use Amplitube that comes with real band.
And now, because we spent a small amount of time, recording some endings. That's what we get.